the key to life is gratitude. You gotta have gratitude. You gotta have more gratitude when you're going through the worst fucked up situations because you're too dumb and you're too fucking egotistical. Speaking for myself, um, you're so egotistical that you think you can fix people. You think that you can save a motherfucker. You think that, you know, why did it happen to me? I'm, no, it's happening to you because you're too dumb to separate from the toxicity by yourself. You're, you're so codependent on the toxicity that you will stick around with things, people, uh, and stuff that does not serve you because you're too afraid to be alone. Well, guess what? The last three letters in friend is E-N-D. Most friendships come to an end, okay? The last three letters in alone is O-N-E, one. You came into this motherfucker by yourself, okay? Nobody is ever gonna treat you or your things or your ideas or anything that has to do with you better than you would treat it yourself. That's why you don't let people borrow your car. They ain't gonna treat your car with the same respect as you're gonna treat your car. You don't let people borrow your energy who are not gonna reciprocate these actions. We were taught as kids, uh, oh, they said sorry and it's your mom, it's your sister, uh, your aunties. We start learning how to get mistreated by women at a young age, especially if you're a single, if you're a child that came from a single parent home, you've been conditioned to submit to a woman your whole life, bro. So you gotta understand like, hey, and I, once again, I'm speaking for myself. These are things that I had to learn on my own. I had to realize, bro, you have a lot of bitch nigga tendencies. If it's coming from a woman, it, it's nothing wrong. They're supposed to be emotional and all that stuff. Men are not supposed to be overly emotional. We're not supposed to have outbursts and all that emotional shit. But if you're raised by a single woman and aunties and, and cousins and even your male cousins become feminized by the women around you. And I don't even necessarily think they're doing it on purpose. But a woman cannot raise a young boy how to be a grown man. Most grown men can't raise a young boy to be a grown man. We're putting too much on women. Like, <clears throat> a lot of men, um, and women are putting a lot on themselves. And a lot of women are, put, a lot of men are putting too much on women. Oh, they're supposed to be soft, nurturing, caring, and all that good shit. They, they're not supposed to be doing masculine shit, yo. You know what I'm saying? But women have to be more masculine because men have become more feminine. But there's a formula to that. If you was raised by all women, mainly women with a single mom, when, you're, when your mother looks at you, she associates all the pain that she felt from your father with you. Your dad sees himself in you. Your mom sees your dad in you. Okay, what I'm understand what I'm saying? Like, think about it. Most women don't get along. A lot of women can't sit down and be broke together. When you in the trenches with your boy, if it's really your boy, y'all in the trenches together. I come up on 60, he came up on 30, and I got 30. Or if I come up on a, a two-piece with a biscuit, he gonna get a piece of chicken, I'm gonna get a piece of chicken, and we gonna split the biscuit. That ain't how women work. You understand what I'm saying? And it's, it's not their job. <coughs> to operate as anything other than women, okay? Um, we gotta do better as men. Like, I'm not saying be no sucker. I'm not saying let no woman run all over you, bro. What I am saying is your mother, your, your sister, your aunties, your female cousins, those were the first women to run all over you. Those are the first women you had to accept disappointment from. What you was gonna do to your mama when she disappointed you? When she treated you like shit? When she whoop the shit out of you, beat you down like you was a dog or something. What you supposed to say to your mama? So we got taught at a young age how to settle for less and how to accept bullshit from women that we would not normally accept. And then guess what? We become over masculine because some female came along that got that's a little more seasoned in you and crushed your little heart because you thought, you because you keep going after females that remind you of your, or that have characteristics of your mother. And to be, be very quite honest, I wouldn't date my mother. Not, I'm not talking physically. I'm talking about how she operates. 
and how she thinks. I wouldn't want to date someone like that. But subconsciously, you're going to find somebody who <clears throat> reminds you of your mother. You understand what I'm saying? So you have to do the work on yourself to understand why you have so much bitch nigga tendencies. It's because you were raised by a woman or women. And even the men in your life are feminine. Where was the positive male role model? And if it ain't a consistent role model, what is it? Because if it ain't consistent, it don't matter. So understand, most men out there, we start off with a skill set that came from the nurturing of a woman, which makes us overly feminine. We have to learn how to balance that masculine energy and that feminine energy. Because guess what? Creativity, intuition, and art, a lot of shit men do is, is feminine energy. It doesn't make, make you soft, it's just a lot of characteristics are of femininity. There's probably more feminine characteristics than masculine characteristics. Okay, so you just gotta understand, be yourself at all times. Don't allow anyone to talk you out of being who you are. And that's the number one key. When you will go against yourself, when you will go against your belief system for somebody else, God is looking down at you like bruh. So you're gonna have more faith in what somebody else is giving you than what I gave you? I gave you these natural abilities to be all you can be. And you're giving away your freedom of choice so that somebody else can, you can, so you can go off, excuse me, somebody else ideas and stuff? Stop it. You gotta love yourself so much that you're not gonna go against yourself for nothing or nobody. Understand what I'm saying? Stay tuned.